Go. What is this case, Dr. Vikram? Yes, uh, this is a term baby delivered by LSCS and presented with a respiratory distress at around 12 hours after birth. Baby was shifted to NICO and was mechanically ventilated. The preductal and postductal saturations of the baby were around 50% and baby required oxygen supplementation of around 80 to 90% on mechanical ventilation. An echocardiography was performed for the baby in view of this low oxygen saturations and respiratory distress and cyanosis that was noted. Echocardiographic parameters we look into when we are dealing with such a case. Yeah, that's right. Uh, see, most of the uh, units actually, uh, the gold standard in the diagnosis of congenital heart disease, especially the critical congenital heart disease, what we uh, are seeing now, so it's mainly dependent on you know, what is called echocardiography. So I'll teach you and show you also uh, how uh, what are the uh, important features, the echo features of this hypoplastic heart syndrome. So we all understand. Make sure that when you demonstrate, you need to take all the precautions very well. And uh, you see how I keep the probe here. This is the probe I use. You know the frequency of four and twelve, and the footprint probe. So what I do is I'll keep the probe. Left second intercostal space, thallus Can you see that? And the marker here is facing the right shoulder joint. This is called as thallus long axis plane. Now I will show you what are the structures you have to see in case of hypoplastic left syndrome. You see the uh, views, and if you look at here, okay. So here you see this is the left atrium, the left, you see, left ventricle is very small, correct? Even if you look at the, the uh, this is the aortic valve and this is the aorta, looks small, but right ventricle looks big. So small left ventricle, even if you look at the endocardial part of this left ventricle is echogenic. So you got left, small left atrium and then you got small left ventricle here and the big right ventricle. These are the important features you see on parasitic long axis. Now we know Shall that this is a parasitic. What we saw, mm -hmm. the structures of parasitic long axis, you could appreciate. Now what I'll do is I'll turn this probe. I'll keep uh, this probe is kept now here. This left second intercostal space parasitic. Correct. I'll rotate this, and now the marker is facing the left shoulder joint. Now what structures use? This view is very important to know the dimension of the left ventricle and right ventricle which you can appreciate on the screen now this is the parasternal short axis view and here you can see that this is a big right ventricle you can see you can see right ventricle is very big this is the interventricular septum and we will look at poor fellow contracting this small left ventricle can you appreciate that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, big right ventricle, interventricular septum, the left ventricle, this is seen classically in hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Now, I will see the structures on apical. So, this is the probe I have kept just below the nipple with a marker facing to the left to demonstrate the structures on apical view, also called as fourth chamber view. So, you can see on the screen now, you can see, yeah. see this is the left ventricle, can you see the left ventricle, interventricular septum, this is the right ventricle, see the right ventricle is big, correct? Yes. And you see the left ventricle is small, and you see here, the left atrium is small, but right atrium is big. big. So you see this one, this is very classically seen in hypoplastic left heart syndrome. But here if you see the annulus of this mitral valve is also not very developed. So this is another feature you need to see uh, in hypoplastic. So in the nutshell, right atrium is big, right ventricle is big, left ventricle is small and of course here left atrium is also small. Sometimes in restricted ASD, this left atrium looks big also. Yeah. Color doctor of the apical view, you can see the chambers I was talking to, right ventricle, right atrium, left ventricle, left atrium. So left ventricle, left atrium is very small. 
but you can see some flow is happening from the left atrium to the left you can appreciate that but if you see here you can see that the shunting across the atrial septal defect is very important in hypoplastic of tart syndrome because when there is not much flow happening from left atrium to left ventricle the blood from left atrium has to enter the right atrium that is the reason right atrium right ventricle they become bigger so here what we appreciate is the bidirectional shunt across the atrial septal defect a very simple question what should i do sir now start process what should we do for this baby start the baby on i posterior and start okay